Books for bedtime. So these are books that are great to read aloud at any time, but obviously we all look for bedtime stories and I think that these are some really good options for you. Um, the first one I'm gonna tell you about is five minute bedtime stories. Perfect for bedtime, but I will tell you that we read these all the time. The stories are very colorful, sweet, um, quick stories, not too many pa uh, words per page and the illustrations are just really fun to look at. It has a ribbon bookmark, nice padded cover, so it feels kind of special. And the stories are adorable, like so, so cute. And so we've been reading those um, one a night. The kids love them. The Big Book of Little Stories. This has a cloth binding. It's just a gorgeous keepsake looking um, hardback book. And it has a sweet little ribbon. And um, this has some classics in it. So I'm gonna show you the table of contents. Feel free to pause if you wanna read through what's actually in this book. When you get in here, you're gonna see that it has very sweet illustrations. What's the best way? It's kind of a heavy book, so let me show you. Um, the pages do not have a ton of words on them and very quick, easy to read stories. Good for early readers too. So be thinking that, you know, these are not just for bedtime. Like I said, they're good for early readers. They're good for reading stories aloud anytime. This is such a good story time book because it's going to get your kid dreaming about what they want to be. We have... I want to be an astronaut and I want to be a lion tamer. I want to be an astronaut. It's like I said, a board book. It's very sweet illustrations, features two main characters, a boy and a girl. And each page is about fun things that they want to be like a stuntman, a spy, a fighter, a fighter pilot, deep sea diver, that kind of thing. Lots of fun. That's a good quick read. One of my favorite authors that Kane Miller has is Eric Odie. He writes these adorable sing-songy type books. It's so fun to read. And this one is called Too Many Tomatoes. It's beautiful. This is going to be a classic read aloud your kids are gonna love. So as you flip through the pages, you're gonna hear about how grandpa grew too many tomatoes. And so um, they're giving the tomatoes to everybody in their community. There's going to be a tomato parade. Um, they go to the farmer's market to sell some. They give them to the teacher, the tailor, scientist, the sailor. It is seriously such a fun read aloud. My kids love this one. Usborne picture books. We have several in this series. They have these beautiful padded covers perfect read alouds and really fun for early readers as well. This is Cinderella. It has the most gorgeous illustrations. I'll show you. Cinderella is a brunette in this version, which is kind of fun. And um, the illustrations are gorgeous. The retelling is just wonderful. There are not too many words per page. So like I said, perfect for a good bedtime read aloud. Not going to take you too long to read it. And it is just a, a gorgeous. All of these um, Usborn picture books are gorgeously illustrated and so fun to read. Oh, Guys, I just love this book and I'm so excited about it. It is a perfect gift. I'm gonna have to get three of them because I have three kids and I want each of my kids to have the books from their childhood and this is one that they're just each going to need. So, Illustrated Alphabet. It is a cloth bound book with foil inlays and this beautiful glossy picture inlay. It's a story about how this was a very bad day at the zoo and it talks about the bad day that each of these um, animals have. Every page is full of alliteration. The donkey's dinner was so dirty and disgusting, she kicked it over the fence. As you can imagine, this is a really fun story to read aloud with voices. And um, at the end, it was such a bad day because somebody was slacking and <laughs> it was the zookeeper, Zach. The lazy zookeeper was snoozing. So the zebras from Zambia zoomed along the zigzag path and zipped out of the zoo. So fun to read, really cute story. So, all right, there's some awesome read alouds for you guys. I hope that helps you out with bedtime and maybe with your classroom or just with having fun books around for your early readers to read through that are maybe a little different than what they're um, exposed to on a daily basis. I'll talk to you guys later, bye.